Welcome to the final section of our course on learning Windows Server 2019, Getting Started with Fundamental Roles. This is video one of section five, Install and Explore File and Print Services. Hey, thanks Josh. So setting up a file server in Windows Server 2019, you can do it without any of the server roles, but it's a lot easier with them, so that's what we're gonna walk through. So the first thing you notice in Server Manager is on the left, we've got a file and storage services option. But there's nothing here for us to manage other than volumes and disks and storage pools and nothing file share related. So let's check the add roles and features wizard. So when launch it, click next, role base, to make sure our server is selected. And then under server roles, you notice that the file storage service option already has something selected. Well, that's because the storage services is installed by default. And so that's why it shows up in server manager. But under file and iSCSI services, we've got a lot of options here. But for this demo, we're gonna focus simply on the file server as well as the file server resource manager. This also requires us to install some other tools. So I'm going to click on add features. And we're going to click next, next, and install. And since this doesn't require reboot, I'm not gonna select the option to automatically restart the server. And while this is a fairly quick install, it, it still may take a couple minutes. All right, and once it's complete, I'm gonna go ahead and click close. There's nothing else to do in the wizard. And now if we open up the file and storage services on the left, we have an option for shares, iSCSI, and work folders. But we're gonna focus on shares specifically. So if I click on shares, you notice here we got this nice interface for managing shares, but we don't have any yet. So let's create one. So we'll click on this option to create a share, and this will launch the new share wizard. And here, we've got quite a few options. So SMB, server message block, is a share protocol used by Windows computers. And NFS is one used by Unix-based computers. And we're going to stick to SMB for this demo. I'm going to stick with just the quick option here. I'm going to select Next. And the file server we're using is the file server that we're currently on, so file 01. And you notice down below, we can either type a custom path or select a volume. I'm going to leave it in the C volume. And it's going to create, you notice right underneath it, it's going to create a slash shares directory and put our shares there. And that's what I want. So I'm going to click on Next. For the share name, I'm just going to call it Docs and leave the description blank. And there you can see our local path as well as the share path of our share. So go ahead next as well. And here we have a couple of options. If we want to enable access based enumeration, what that will do is only display files to a user that they have access to. So if you need to hide files that users don't have access to, that's what you need to enable. I'm not gonna enable it in this case, but I am gonna allow folks to cache if they want. We don't have branch cache installed, and I'm not gonna be encrypting in the data. And so here are the default permissions. And you notice here that administrators have full control and users have read and execute, and they also have a special. So if we wanna actually look at what that special is, we can click on customize. And here we still have special, but if we click on this option, we have the, we can view it and show advanced permissions. And here we can see that those special permissions mean they can create files and write data, as well as create folders and dependent data. I'm gonna close out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that those default settings for now. And right above that, you notice the share permissions is everyone read only. And there's just the summary page. And we'll go ahead and click on create. And so now, once we hit close, we now have a share listed here. And so, if we open up File Explorer and look at the shares on our server, we now have this docs share. And so we'll double click on it, and we can see there's nothing in it right now because it was just created, but remember we're logged in with a local administrator account. If we right click and create a new folder, we get an access denied message. That's because access to the share is controlled both by the share permissions as well as NTFS permissions. And so we bring the share back up and go to Properties. Under permissions, I'm gonna to go to customize permissions. And here's where we got the tab for the share permissions. If you are effectively using NTFS permissions, then it's safe to go ahead and select full control here for your share permissions. Select okay and close out of there. And then on the docs page, we wanna go ahead and click on apply. And now if we browse to that share again, we can go ahead and select on, click on the docs share. And you can see we can create a new folder and call it whatever we want. So another thing you notice with our share is that if you right click on it, we have the option to configure a quota on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And you can see we've got quota templates, but we can't actually create our own templates. So let me introduce you to a tool called the File Server Resource Manager. That's one of the roles we installed when we installed the file server role. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And 
Here, you notice I got some options over on the left. So we got quota management, so I'm going to expand that. And if I select quota templates, here's all of my existing quotas. And so I can go and create another one if I wanted to, for instance. And it gives you this option to copy, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. So if I want to create a quota, say for, so I'll call it 25. I'm going to call it a hard quota so they absolutely cannot exceed that limit. And you can see we've got some notification thresholds down here that we could edit if we wanted as well. I'm going to call this template 25 gigabytes. I'm going to go ahead and leave the notification thresholds at the default and go ahead and click on OK. And now if I go back over to quotas, I can right click and create a new quota. I'm going to select the, the shares path. So every folder under that share will have this quota of 25 gigs. I'll click on OK and select the 25 gigabyte limit that I created. And I'll go ahead and click on Create. And so now if I switch over to another computer on the network, I can map a network drive to that share. I'm going to connect using different credentials here. And you can see that I'm, I'm on the same share with that mine folder. Then close out of there. Uh, but you notice that here under network locations that that map drive shows up with 25 gigs. So I only have 25 gigs of space. And this is how it can be communicated to the user. So I'll switch back over to the file server now. And something else you can do inside of the file server resource manager is create file screens. So what a file screen is, and we'll get some of the templates here for it to make sense, is a file screen will manage the types of files that you allow users to put in shares that you are managing. So for instance, we can look at this block email files. A file group of email files, if we click on edit, we see some familiar email file extensions. So .eml, .msg, .osc, .psc. So these are all currently being blocked by that template, but it's not applied anywhere. And over on file screens, we can actually apply that. So if I click on file screens and create file screens, I'm going to apply this to that same shares folder. Click on OK. And I'm going to decide that I don't want any email files on this share because PSC files can get huge. So I'm going to select block email files and click on create. So now we flip back over to our other computer. We can go ahead and create a file and call it massivearchive.psd. I'm going to click on yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to try to paste it into my share here. Ooh, and it's going to tell me that you need permission to perform this action because it detected it was a .psd file. And you notice that I, that I do have permissions if I want to create a text file. I do actually have permissions to do that. So that's, that's how file screens work. And we're back over on our server here. So that's how you can get started with file servers in Windows Server 2019.